we are asked to multiply the given radical expressions. We determine these products just like we multiply two binomials. Remember, when multiplying two binomials, we always have four products. Using the idea of repeated distribution, to determine this first product, we begin by distributing the two square root x, which gives us two products, and then we distribute the positive three, which gives us two more products, giving us a total of four products. This is equal to two square root x times five square root x plus two square root x times, because of the minus four, we have times negative four, and then we have plus, and now we distribute the three. We have three times five square root x, and then finally we have plus three times negative four. Now we determine each product using the rules for multiplying radicals. To determine this first product, we multiply the two and the five outside the square root, then we multiply the x and the x under the square root. Two times five is equal to 10, so we have 10 times the square root of x times x. And then we have plus. To determine this product, we multiply two and negative four, which equals negative eight. This is equal to plus negative eight square root x, which is equivalent to minus eight square root x. And then we have plus. To determine this product, we multiply the three and the five. Three times five equals 15, so we have plus 15 square root x. And then finally we have plus three times negative four, which equals plus negative 12, which is equivalent to minus 12. Now we simplify these square roots and combine like radicals. We'll notice how the square root of x times x will simplify perfectly because we have two equal factors of x. The square root of x times x, or the square root of x squared simplifies perfectly to one factor of x. This is equal to 10x. However, because the index on the square root is even, the index is two, and the exponent on the simplified variable is odd, because x is equal to x to the first, we must have an absolute value around the x. This assures us that the principal square root will always be positive. And notice how the next two radicals are like radicals because the radical part is identical, meaning the radicals have the same index and the same radicand. So we have negative eight square root x plus 15 square root of x, which equals seven square root x. So we have plus seven square root x, and we still have minus 12. This is the simplified product of the given radical expressions. Let's look at number two on the next slide. Again, we have four products. Using repeater distribution, we distribute the three x squared, giving us two products. And then we have two more products when we distribute the cube root of x squared. This is equal to three x squared times two times the cube root of x. And then we have plus three x squared times, because of the minus one, we have times negative one plus and now we distribute the cube root of x squared. So we have the cube root of x squared times two times the cube root of x. And then finally plus the cube root of x squared times negative one. And now we'll determine each product. For this first product, we multiply the factors outside the cube root. Three x squared times two is equal to six x squared. This is equal to six x squared times the cube root of x plus, here we have three x squared times negative one, which equals negative three x squared. So we have plus negative three x squared, which is equivalent to minus three x squared. And then we have plus, here we multiply the radicands or the variables under the cube roots. So we still have the two outside the cube root and then we have two times the cube root of x squared times x, which equals x cubed. And then finally we have plus the cube root of x squared times negative one equals negative the cube root of x squared. And therefore we have minus the cube root of x squared. And now we simplify the cube roots and then combine like terms. Well, the cube root of x does not simplify, but the cube root of x cubed will simplify because obviously x cubed is a perfect cube. This simplifies perfectly to one factor of x. So we have six x squared times
times the cube root of x minus 3x squared and then plus 2 times 1 factor of x or plus 2x and then we have minus the cube root of x squared. We don't have any like terms or like radicals and all the square roots are simplified and therefore this is the product of the radical expressions. I hope you found this helpful.